I got a call from a lady uh, in, in Philadelphia, a lady by the name of Charlene Trishon. She said, we would like, I, I represent a couple of malls. We would like to bring the newlywed game out. I said, lady, this won't work. She says, well, let's try it. I said, okay. So um, we went to Allentown and to, uh, oh, man, where Three Mile Island was. What town is Harrisburg. that? Harrisburg. So she booked us into Harrisburg and Allentown. Did like 4,000 people. And, you know, here they showed up and had fun. And I said, holy moly, Andy, here we go. And so I did 300 malls in about seven years. And you produced that? Yeah, yeah. With not much production involved. You know, and but I, I tell you, it's a funny story. We were in South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, at, at a mall, and the TV station was the sponsor. They were not supposed to tape it, but they did, and they taped it with local couples and put it on the air on a Sunday night, and we beat sixty minutes. <laughs> I still think, I still think there's room for a game show that plays to local markets. I still think there's, a, there's room for that somewhere. I don't want to do it, I'm too old. But uh, there, there is room for uh, taking a game show, going into a town and taping five shows this day, going to another town and tape five shows, and use all local people with local questions, and, and you have a wheel you spin, and you win a dinner at Joe's. And, and I think there's room for that. Were there any outrageous moments that come to mind about the mall tour? The only thing that comes to mind, I remember I was down south, and I forget, I think it was Memphis, and uh, getting ready to go on the stage, and this policeman is standing there. He's Mr. Eubanks. I want you to know this is the belt buckle of the Bible belt. I said, well, I'll remember that. So I get a couple up on the stage, and I said, where's the strangest place you ever made whoopee? And the, this little girl says, well, it was on the pool table. I put my feet in the pockets. And I turned to this cop, and I said, that's belt buckle of the Bible belt. You're right. <laughs> Uh, and that lasted about 380 Yeah, it lasted a long time, man, a long time. You know, and today I'm speaking to corporate America. See, the, I believe that in this business that you have to, I have contemporaries that sit home and get angry because the phone doesn't ring. You just have to keep reinventing yourself in this business, and that's what I've tried to do. You have to take what you, your strengths are and put them somewhere else.